okay? But let's move this on now because the next step is we need to get these people out of the chairs. Again, my, I love people who go, I, yeah, I did Meisner. I did Meisner in college, or I took Meisner. What the hell does that mean, right? Aye, aye, aye. So what the evolution, the next step is, is to, is to introduce and expand this, introduce something that will expand this. And it starts with the simple introduction of um, something to do, something that now adds more range. Right now, it's very limited. You have blonde hair, I have blonde hair. You smiled, I smiled. At some point, I often teach that it's like the keys on the piano. There's not much, we, we, we're not accessing all the keys. It's like we've only opened the lid and only this much opens, and it's just like this many moments. But it's time to get the whole game of the human experience involved, and it starts with the introduction of something to do. Sandy had us do two things. Uh, I studied with him in the West Indies at his, at his uh, uh, island retreat, a place called Beckley, where he would invite 30, uh, excuse me, 20 actors a month over a 30-day period uh, during the summer. And from that group is, is of 60, because he brought a group in June, July, and August. From that 60 is how he selected his professional private class. So those 20 out of those 60 were selected to continue on. And to, again, to the grace of God, I was one of those as well. And it was there that he, this progression happens and is introduced. And what he started with was he had us build a, uh, first he had us juggle, juggle some balls, okay? And then he had us build a house of cards. Now, uh, juggling might be hard here because of the way we're shooting it be all over the place. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, what, what can we, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll be right back because I'm gonna I gotta go find something for them to do to show you how it starts to expand. Okay, okay, welcome back. So uh, now we're gonna introduce what it's called uh, an activity, an independent activity. It has several components, uh, ingredients, but we're gonna start with the basics. Just introducing it. So, Jules, you begin. What I want you to do is I want you to attempt to build a house of cards. Just build a house of cards, but we're gonna do the technique. And as you're going to see, it's going to introduce new behavior versus two people just sitting there. There we go. Sure, you have a plan. <laughs> I, I'm trying to figure it out. You look puzzled. I'm not puzzled at all. Oh, you disagree. I definitely disagree. You're hotly focused. I'm trying to focus. You can see that. Yeah, I can see that. You're trying to focus. I'm trying, yeah, you said that already. You're counting them first? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm making What was your behavior, you missed your moment? You're calling out my plan here. There you go. Yeah, calling I was calling out, out plan. your plan, yeah. You were, you, you felt good, you figured it out. I did figure it out, I did feel good, yeah, you sure. You do, yes, you feel good. I do feel good. You feel good. You're... Use your paws. <laughs> so when a student goes, you're... You're, what's that behavior? What's the, they don't, you don't know what to say. You don't have the words. You're trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure it out while your words are coming out of your mouth. Anything like that. You can actually become that sensitive and work that tight, which I expect of them. Here we go. <laughs> You're, you're, just, you're oh. starting some planning with this? I don't know. You find, you sound like that's crazy. I think it's crazy, Jules. You think it's crazy? I do think it's crazy. Yeah, you're, you have like a tone with me. I do have a tone with you. You mind Look, that? Look, you, you, you even have, you have, you're adding new tones. I'm adding new tones. Oh. You, you are. What, you thought that was a compliment? No, I thought you were failing with your house of cards. <laughs> you're calling me a failure? Uh, you kind of chuckled at that. I did chuckle at that. You're disappointed. Good, that's good, good. You can see how it's, right? You know, I mean, obviously this could go on and on. You, you go, you build one. We'll see what the different behavior that might come out of her. All right. You're starting out. I am starting up. You're observing me very closely. Yes, you, you, you caught that. I did catch that. You did. I oh, caught that, You're Jules. being very delicate. I am being very delicate. You are. You have a strong voice. I do have a strong she, voice. No, she's, you're, not, you're yelling at me. <laughs> I'm not yelling at you. You did you yell have, a little. I didn't yell, I just raised my voice. You, okay, you raised your voice. I disagree. You're with being you. specific. I am being specific. You are. You got one up. I did get one up. You did. What was his behavior? You got one up. Uh, you're celebrating me. Right? So that moment's a thousand years old, though. It's gone, right? Yeah. So here, I'm now watch this one. This is fun. Sandy didn't do this. He did, one, he did it one time in class, but it was certainly not part of the technique. But it can be a fun exercise, okay? So, uh, a, a three-way. Here we go. I know. Here we go. Okay. You're going for it. I am going for it. And you are. You seem to Observing me very intently. I'm not intent about it. You think I'm intent? 
You're something. You're, you're yeah, trying to figure you're me out. Yeah, you're definitely something. You're trying to figure me out. Yeah, I'm trying to figure you out. And build a house of cards. And build a house of cards. You agree. I agree. You agree. I agree. Yeah. You're, you're, you're throwing you're trying your to figure hands out what to in say? the air. Yeah, no, I'm not trying did. to figure out what to say. You were. You got talking. defensive. You got... I, I did get defensive. <laughs> oh, now I've got oh. your attention. Oh, you oh, like it. You like that I showed up. I like that you showed up. That made you happy. That made me happy. Made you happy. That made me happy. Made you happy. It did make me happy. It did make you happy. You're happier with him. I'm not happy anymore. You don't like that. I just noticed it. You just you just noticed it. Oh, we're ganging up on you. Yeah, yeah, you're ganging up on me. You liked it though. I'm on the spot. Okay, right. Right, you see? So it could be good fun. It's a good warm-up, okay? But it's not something sandy. It's not part of the formal training, okay? But it could be a good warm-up, okay? But again, so you get the idea. And this continues to evolve and grow by adding different elements. There are three elements. One of the things that was so wonderful about my time with Sandy is that, and especially working with him one-on-one, -on -one, is the opportunity to ask him questions about the evolution of the technique. And I'll never forget this day, because I said, how did you come up with the independent activity? And he says it was over a period of time. There's a... There's, I've heard people say out there that near the end of Sandy's life, he kept evolving and changing the technique. I'll tell you, I was with him during the last six years of his teaching career, from 87 till 93, mostly 87 through 91, but definitely 92, and he stopped teaching in 93. And I'll tell you something, he didn't change a thing. And the book, uh, Sanford Meisner on Acting by Dennis Longwell had come out a few years before, and it was almost like if you read the book and then came and sat in class, that too was almost was almost verbatim teachings and experiences. So I, I can just tell you that at this stage of Sandy's, he wasn't changing the technique after 65 years of teaching. He'd settled, in fact, he once, one time said to me, he goes, you're lucky to get me at the end of my life because I've pretty much figured all this out now. I often say to people, I, I got to be with Einstein at the end of his life versus at the beginning when he's trying to figure out all, the, all this stuff. Sandy had it down. And so the, the, the evolution of the independent activity, he, he played around with different elements, different things to make it work, to create the dynamic that he was interested in. And he finally settled on three components. The activity must be compelling. What you're doing must mean something. This means nothing to them. But if I threw $100 down, you know, that now raises the stakes. First one to build the highest house in three minutes gets 100 bucks. Well, all of a sudden, they're going to be more committed to what they're doing. Less of an exercise, less public consciousness, et cetera, making sense, right? How about if I gave $1,000? I put $1,000 on there. Now, all of a sudden, we've raised their emotional temperature, their commitment to what they're doing, which is key to all good acting, okay? So now, okay, so now compelling. It must be compelling. It must be difficult. Building a house of cards is difficult. It is. It is. And so why is it, should it be difficult? It forces us to concentrate. It for, 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 forces us to get off of ourselves and on to what we're doing. The more difficult it is, the more focused we will be. That's good. That's good for acting, to get off ourselves and focus either on the other person or what it is that we're doing and out of our heads. And number three, the, the next component is adding a time element, a sense of urgency. If I were to get a flat tire on, the, on, on, on a Sunday morning going to get coffee and I've got nothing to do that day, then it'd be a bummer, but I don't have a time element. There's not urgency. But let's just say I'm on a, a way to a, a, a date uh, or some big thing, right? And, or a, a big event, whatever it is, something that's very important to me. Um, and I don't want to be late. And so what would I do? Well, you know, there, we add a time element to it. I'm gonna fix that flat tire like it's frick, like a possessed demon, right? Make sense? So compelling, difficult, urgent. So that's what we wanna introduce next, okay? We're gonna show you uh, an activity. We're gonna show you one that is compelling, difficult, and urgent. And we're also going to get them the hell out of the chairs and I'm gonna get out of, of this frame now and you're going to see this, the technique now up on its feet and evolving and growing to a whole nother level, okay?